Uh, hot eight, dogs kind of truck and seven, then beef truck, but six, let's jump back five, into it. Four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Ooh, Ooh, right off the bat, massive hit from Polywog into the weapon of Billy. That weapon on Billy just spins up so fast. It's one of the advantages to having that, you know, huff motor built right into that chassis. Now, something interesting about this fight is uh, that the weapon type on Polywog is not really suited for the wheels on Billy. It can't get to the body of Billy. All it can do is just impact with that powerful weapon over and over again and maybe grind away at those foam wheels. But it's not going to be able to take the big chunks out of them that you really need to to immobilize Billy in these fights. It, it's got a good start for 40 seconds in this match, but there's a lot of time left. Yeah, there's a lot of time left, and there's a lot of grinding that has to be done. And you can see those wheels are deformed, but it's not affecting Billy's mobility at all. Billy is just, he has that weapon dialed in, that exact height that goes in over Polywog. You see that Polywog might have already lost part of the tops of one of their wheels. Yeah, not surprised by that at all. Polywog's a very low bot, very low slung bot, but those wheels do stick out the top of the bot just enough to contact with Billy's weapon. And as Billy kind of loses height throughout the match as its tires get ground away, that weapon's just going to get further and further into Polywog's face. Polywog doing a great job keeping Billy jammed up against the wall and keeping that weapon from spinning up right away. Nice work there wow, for Polywog. Great this maneuvering is, from Polywog. Yeah, just a master class in driving for David Jin. He's so talented on the sticks. And you know, if you don't want that weapon to, stay, to spin up, just stay right under it. So smart. One minute left in the match. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a sip of my Billy coffee here. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, it's a Billy hat. It's a Billy hat. Billy's, Billy's lost his hat, but it's become a hat. It's, uh, it's impressive. Billy trying to get that weapon back up to speed. It might be down though. We have not even seen it attempt to spin up since it became a hat in that last exchange. Billy's in a tough spot right now. We're not really a well-known control bot. No, very difficult to be a control bot with Billy. And we very rarely see that weapon go down. Sounds like the weapon on Polywog isn't working either, but if we're talking about a control match, the tight four-wheel drive configuration on Polywog is what you want. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of this Ooh. fight, and it ends with Billy pinned up against the wall. This goes to the judges. Ended the Oof. match as a hat, too. Ended the match as a hat. That's absolutely right. David looking very pleased with that performance. So we're going to go to the judges and see what they have to say about that. There you see Jonathan with Billy. Have you had a sip of your Billy Chino yet? No, not yet. I'm going to try it right now, now that the match is over. Hold on. Let's see how this is. Yeah, another really close match between two well-driven competitors, very reliable machines. Um, I guess that's what we should expect in the championship is, is you know, the best of the best. And uh, this one didn't disappoint. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this match. Yeah, it looked like Billy was ruining it at the beginning and then Polywog just came back and once the weapon stopped Billy was kind of stuck out there yeah and yeah, towards the end it really just did become Polywog's fight and could you please find Luke and make him aware that I have given a half point in my attempts to continue oh my don't worry it's the ways. first thing I'm going to tell him when he comes back <laughs> <laughs> All right, so unanimous judge's decision for Polywog there. Not surprised at all. And uh, I got to tell you, this is delicious. Thank you so much to Team Billy. I really appreciate that. A Billy Chino. I'm surprised it's not a cold brew because he's a cold-blooded killer. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's, that makes things pretty interesting in the, uh, the three-pound bracket. All right, we're seeing some uh, movement seven, over here in the 
six, 12 pound, 30 five, pound box. Four, yeah, grudge three, versus, versus two, grudge frog. One. Fight, robots fight. So, Son of Cram, this is our first time seeing them today. You can see the drum spinner on them. Really a uh, dense side armor package. Beautifully built bot, beautifully designed bot. Grudge Frog, undercutter spinner usually, but right now it doesn't look like that weapon is spinning at all. I didn't see a belt or anything come loose, so I'm, I'm curious what, what is going on. Yeah, I'm not even sure if it fired up at the beginning there. Grudge Frog, uh, driven by Bunny Sorrel of Team Malice. And look at that. Son of Cram's weapon just humming right along, trying to get a good shot. But man, Grudge Frog, uh, Grudge Frog finished second in the February tournament, 12 pound, uh, 12 pound division. Um, they are really doing well here in this match. Picking their shots, making sure that they get as much damage as possible. See part of that wheel armor has already been stripped away. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. That left side wheel armor on Grudge Frog is being peeled off as we speak. Sounds like the weapon just powered down on Son of Cram. Excited to see what happens there. Got about 80 seconds left in this match. Both bots seem to be uh, having some control issues, which is going to make the, uh, the uh, aggression and control points that much harder to judge for the end of this match. Yeah, way harder to judge in this match. So we're down to, what, the last minute here in this fight? I guess that's controlled motion. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a debatable issue, right? The following fight is brought to you by Molasses. <laughs> Molasses, uh, yeah, it, don't eat it out of the bottle. Don't eat it out of the bowl. That's, that's good life advice. I really appreciate that. That's what I'm here for. Son of Cram not firing up that weapon at all. It is able to move a little bit. Uh, looks like Grudge Frog getting every last bit of the control and aggression points in this six, five, four, three, two, one. That there's the end of this fight. Please power down your weapons and drive to the door. This one will go to the judges. We'll see what they have to say. Sad looking bots. Oh. Interesting. I've heard of throwing a wrench into the gears, but never a ratchet. Yeah, it's a ratchet safety. You know, <laughs> ratcheting safety mechanism. <laughs> really tightens down the safety on that bot. So I'm sure our judges right now are trying to deliberate, you know, ex exactly what happened there at the end of the match between, uh, you know, control and aggression. How do you even count that for, uh, you know, some one bot that's uh, unable to really kind of control its direction, another one that is in slow motion. Yeah, David peeling the gorilla tape off of his bot there. He did not look too happy with his performance. So uh, excited to see what the judges had to say about that one. That is the 12 pound division that we just saw. So the winner of this match We'll have to go on to face the winner of Hot Leaf Juice versus Cannibal Mini, which oh. I'm really excited about that match. Um, Hot Leaf Juice has won multiple tournament, tournaments in the 12 pound division at this point. They are definitely favored to win the whole thing today. And Cannibal Mini is a bot that I am so glad qualified. It's just such a neat design. It is a uh, angled horizontal spinner. Um, and it is, it's just so pretty. It's yeah. just so pretty. And it's able to kind of float around the arena just by the power of its own weapon. Uh, so I'm really excited about that match. But meanwhile, let's go talk to our judges about the match we just saw. Guys, who won that? Uh, yeah, it was definitely quite strong for me. There's not really much that 
Sun and Cram was doing towards the end. They weren't making any aggressive moves ultimately because I don't think they really could. And as a result, it looked like they took a lot more damage. They really lost any and all semblance of drive. Yep. Charge your batteries. 